What I saw was in Micron the ability to go into a technology that was the last great opportunity to change storage. The fiber channel had changed the bus, the microprocessors had changed uh, the, the hardware, software had changed, and the only last remaining piece that was still the 1960s technology was the media. And so flash is really the future. And I looked at it and said, this is, this is big, and I wanted to be a part of it. The decision to come to Micron was, was a pretty easy one. They have consistently made great IP that has allowed the entire compute generation to, to evolve and become bigger and better and faster. We have the ability to solve some of the most vexing compute challenges out there. Yes, Flash will. As, as an example, today, um, if you're a, a, a large data center, you more than likely are going to run out of space, going to run out of power, and you're going to have to open up a new data center. It's very common. Using Flash, we could make the servers probably two times faster, cutting the number of servers in half, and we can make the storage many, many times faster, probably replacing 20 hard drives with one SSD, and you literally could set that uh, data center back to half of its size today and allow it to grow for another two decades before it needs to expand out. The transformation that Flash offers to the data center is huge. The size of the footprint that spinning media takes versus Flash is, is, is like one-tenth the size. So you gain back a ton of data center real estate, which is really expensive. Flash solves that problem. Uh, the power and cooling profile of your traditional storage-based systems is very expensive to power and cool those big, large spinning media-based arrays. With Flash, we cut that uh, down dramatically. Um, and then speed of access. Uh, with these applications being so heavy and so burdensome on the underlying infrastructure, Flash makes those things a lot faster. And with virtualization and the proliferation of hypervisors, it's forcing the data to have to get closer to the CPU. So a lot of times people talk a lot about IOPS, there's also this thing called latency, which is equally, if not maybe more important. And, and Micron enables that, that server-based storage to actually happen so that you're not only getting very, very fast IOPS, but you're getting very super low latency. 3D gets us back on Moore's Law. It lets us give the cost reductions that is necessary to get the 5X uh, premium that NAND is today down to a, a more reasonable premium that will open the markets up. 3D Crosspoint, is even beyond that. It's taking this technology to a brand new level. We're, we're now using a new technology that allows performance increases like thousand X of what they are today. And those kind of things are always transformational. And so we've, we've got a NAND that's uh, at the edge of its transformation and we've come out with a brand new technology that's at the edge of it. 3D Crosspoint is a technology that we're very, very excited about. Um, and it really does fit right in between NAND and DRAM. It's a thousand times faster than NAND. Uh, it's a thousand times more resilient. Um, it's actual storage, it's not memory, that, that where it loses state, it actually holds state when the power is turned off. And this is very, very significant. This will enable an entirely brand new set of applications that this world hasn't seen. It takes compute and storage to a, a completely new game, and we're very excited about it.